everyone and welcome back to Hair and Now. If you are new to this channel, my name is Courtney Lane and today I have a very special unboxing for you. I have in this package what I expect to be a very, very special piece of Victorian hair jewelry. I have been waiting and waiting for this and I can't wait to show you because I naturally see a lot of pieces of hair jewelry for sale online, but of the ones I see for sale, I buy very few of them. So everything I purchase has a very specific, special, important reason and I can't wait to show you the reason I purchased this one. So we have a lovely little square white box. Snip that up in here. Okay. Like they tucked it away in a lovely little jewelry box for me. That's very nice. Now then, actually this jewelry box looks a bit old. I'm gonna have to look up this box to see <laughs> If this is one they're just reusing, I don't think it quite looks old enough to be Victorian. It's quite rare to find a piece of Victorian jewelry still in the original box. I would love to get one in the original box, but I don't quite think that's what we have here, although it does look old. Now then, as we open the box, we have a lovely little brooch here. It is quite small. I'll try to get it close so you can see it better. It's got a little bit of dust on it. Let's wipe that off before we show it to you. Now we have a brooch here. That is a Victorian morning brooch. Not all hair jewelry was used for mourning, but this one very obviously is because it is a grave scene. It doesn't get any more obviously mourning than that. So we see here, it's actually the tree, the grass, the trees in the distance, and this wreath that are all made out of human hair. And as you can see on the grave there, it says, my father. Let me show you what the back of the brooch looks like. It's just pretty similar to today's brooches. Brooches haven't changed much in the grand scheme of things. Look at just how beautiful that is. Wow, I am just absolutely delighted by that. Now, let me tell you why this one caught my eye. Hair jewelry and mourning jewelry, by extension, was not always professionally done. There were in some Victorian ladies' catalogs and magazines um, sort of instructions on how to make these yourself in the home. So some of them were done DIY, but this one, I happen to know exactly what sort of professional hair working company made this because as soon as I saw that come up for sale, I immediately thought of this catalog of artistic hair work. So obviously this is not an antique. This is not the Victorian catalog itself. It's more of a scan and printed out version, but catalog of artistic hair work right there. This would be an example of very often like a mail-in hair service or some jewelers may have had these catalogs 
available for samples right in their shop, so you can take a look at some options. And this is the National Artistic Hair Work Company of Chicago and New York. So, as you can see right there, this was a hair work company. They had m multiple hair workers and they sort of had these patterns that you could pick out. And this could be done in a piece of jewelry, much like this brooch, or they could do it on larger glass palettes and it could be a framed piece. And they, this specific company did a lot of grave scenes. You can see the very first page right there. A tree, a grave. So I'm gonna look because this seems so, so, so reminiscent of this exact company that I am confident that we are going to find this exact pattern in this catalog. So we're, we're gonna look together, shall we? So first I wanna get out of these big ones because these big ones, <laughs> Well, those were for framed pieces, for sure. Nobody's wearing a piece of jewelry that big <laughs> in the Victorian era, no. So let's go a little further in this catalog until we get to some smaller jewelry patterns. Okay, we're getting closer. Oh, you guys, I think I found it. I think I found it already. <laughs> so this picture here, and we're, we're gonna do a side by side. We're gonna, we're gonna check this out together. Oh, this is exciting. So we have here, this looks like it was meant to be a necklace in the display, but we have a weeping willow tree, a grave, with a wreath around it and some trees in the background. This is nearly identical to our brooch here. Look at that. This brooch is kind of on a painted glass, maybe even sort of a mother of pearl. So it's very reflective. I'm trying to get it in a way that you can see it well. But look at that, it is nearly identical. The only difference is that the artist who made this one in my hand added a couple of birds in the background and maybe an extra tree or two. And it's a little smaller than the actual picture for the necklace, but on a brooch, that's not bad. And here in the pattern, you see the words aren't very made out. So I guarantee you that you could put whatever name you wanted there, or in this case, my father. So the, the relation to the person. So it is such a rare delight to be able to see not only the hair jewelry, but to know where it came from, to know who made it. Of course, I don't know the exact artist, but I at least know the company they worked for. So this is just absolutely brilliant. I am delighted. There is a tiny little tree branch that has fallen off. I imagine that's been off for quite a while. This wasn't a brooch and it was easier to open up. I might try to restore that, but honestly, it doesn't really detract from the rest of the piece. <laughs> I could probably shake it a little bit and get it to the bottom, but look right there. There's a piece of the tree that fell off. Oh, look, there's a good comparison for you. Oh, I'm so delighted. I'm absolutely thrilled. So this is largely done in pallet work. The tree surely is. And then there's a little bit of maceration work or sepia, which is sort of like a hair painting. The, the background is more painted on than actual hair laid out, but 
It is just absolutely stunning. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so thrilled. And you know, come to think of it, well, hmm. I was about to say I don't have any antique hair brooches yet, but I guess that's not 100% true. But the antique brooch I have is actually table work, so that's the braided hair jewelry, whereas this one is a pallet work brooch, so. I'm delighted. She's beautiful. We're mourning, mourning my father. Yeah, thank you for being with me on this journey. If I learn any more about the specific company, or if I get any leads on who may have been the one to make this, I will surely let you know as always. And of course, as always, I will put the seller's information down in the description box. And I want to give a huge thank you to my supporters over on Patreon. You guys are all helping me to keep the art of hair work alive and I truly cannot thank you enough. Please, if you have not already, consider subscribing to this channel and clicking that notification bell so you do not miss any more. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this brooch or if you have any thoughts on the catalog of artistic hair work. And I will see you guys next time.